Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Dallas and the 67th annual AEA International Trade Show and Convention. So let's think about this. Every day, more of the world gets more connected. And every day, more of our aviation industry gets more connected. And every day, more aircraft in our aviation industry get more connected. And all those connections take people. For those of you that I've not connected with in the past, and Ryan told you who I was, but I'll say it anyways, my name is Dave Salvador, and I'm a proud member of the GoGo -Go Business Aviation family. I have just celebrated my 14th year anniversary with GoGo, -Go, and in those 14 years, I've had the opportunity to connect and work with both inside and outside GoGo, -Go, some amazing people. And in early January this year, the GoGo -Go family lost one of its amazing people, Mr. Dan Prosser. So Dan, Dan was an incredible, incredible industry leader. Uh, he was a pioneer, and he was a good friend. And with many of the AEA members that are in the audience, he and you helped build the company that GoGo -Go is today. And we're very appreciative, of course, of that. Uh, Dan was a very dynamic person. He loved the outdoors. Um, he worked for many AEA members, uh, including Avidyne, uh, Allied Signal, Cutter Aviation, Stevens Aviation, Turbo West, um, I know I forgot a few. And then he spent 18 years uh, working with us at GoGo. -Go. And Dan started off as a regional sales manager. He uh, then was promoted uh, in the later years working for GoGo -Go as director of business development, where he helped really forge and, and lay the foundation for what we are today expanding globally. Uh, and inter internationally. So along with all the connections that Dan made, the GoGo -Go family today would like to celebrate our friend and colleague, Dan Prosser.
Dan was uh, incredibly, <laughs> incredibly smart, incredibly funny. Um, it, he was really dedicated to the service in our industry, and he served multiple terms on the board of directors for the AEA. Uh, he was vice chair and chairman of the AEA at one point as well. Um, he was just an incredible guy, and I got a chance to work with him for over a decade in my role, and, uh, and, and he just was a tremendous uh, uh, life. Uh, he was full of life, full of person, uh, and we were honored to, uh, to help grow our business together. And again, thank you for the opportunity for us to, to pro provide this tribute to Dan during the new product introduction. Uh, he really was an amazing man, so thank you. Dan, Dan was also ageless. That, he looked that way the entire time I worked with him. He never aged. His, uh, his friends called him LBK, little blonde kid. So, uh, amazing. All right, well, he would, he would say, let's move on, Dave. The show must go on. Uh, so let's, let's get down to business. The first thing I'd like to start off with is uh, for the partners that the GoGo family has had the opportunity to work with, we've, we've built these partnerships on a foundation of trust, a foundation of integrity, and we are extremely grateful for the business that we've done together. And, and our success really has been your success as we've uh, gone from uh, a small startup to the company that we are today. So if you look at a history of innovation with GoGo, it all started in 1991 on a napkin, the idea to connect the skies above from the ground below and vice versa. Um, and in that time, since we started nearly 30 years ago, uh, we've had some extremely innovative uh, products that we've brought to market and that you have all promoted and installed in aircraft, starting with uh, bringing airborne telephony to market and the opportunity to uh, do telephone calls, bring that, uh, that tool to the aircraft. And then we brought uh, uh, connectivity, a connectivity pipe, in-flight connectivity, then in-flight entertainment. Uh, and now we've, we've pulled those all together and we now have the Avance platform. And the platform that uh, Avance is known as today for our partners that install it is the Avance uh, L3, the Avance L5, uh, SCS, and very soon the next generation of products that will tie into this software-centric platform uh, will be our 5G and our Galileo global broadband system. And the advanced platform, one of the benefits of this in future-proofing the aircraft by a, a customer, a mutual customer of ours in, installing it in an aircraft, is they have the opportunity to reap the benefits of a software-centric platform uh, after it's been installed in the aircraft without having to touch the aircraft. And an example of that, uh, which the animation just showed, is our new over-the-air software updates, which the advanced platform will actually can do an update without having to touch the aircraft and update the operating system in it remotely. And over the past few weeks, we've launched this service and we've already had over 600 aircraft that have had their software updated on the advanced platform, whether it's an L3 or an L5, uh, in the aircraft, and they didn't have to touch the airplane. And when you start thinking about fleet customers and chasing those airplanes around to put a technician on there to install a software update, these, this is just an example of a benefit that comes along with this platform that we created, and that has been uh, something that has been very prolific. It's been the most highly adopted product in the market. Last year when I stood on this stage, we were very excited to announce that we had 1.5 million flights with the advanced platform. In 12 months, we've added another 900,000 flights on the advanced platform with the systems that you, our partners, have installed in aircraft. And those installations now peak over 4,000 aircraft. We now have over 4,000 advanced systems that are in service due to the great work and partnership that we have with our AEA members. So that's now. Now we look to what's next. GoGo 5G. At the end of this year, we will begin shipments on GoGo 5G primarily designed for the North American market. It's bringing more connectivity to the aircraft. When I started the presentation, I talked about more aircraft getting connected, 
more connectivity being added. Our customers are demanding on connectivity uh, and bandwidth, and 5G will be bringing that at the end of this year. The network is done, ready to go, and we've also, you see on the Canadian coverage, last year we announced that we were working on that. This network is ready to go today. And at the end of the year, when the hardware starts getting installed in airplanes, uh, the network's ready to go no matter where they fly in North America. Also proud that this aircraft behind me will be our demo aircraft, a beautiful Challenger 300 uh, that we'll be using for both 5G demos and the uh, Galileo Global uh, Broadband System that will be uh, installed, both of those systems on this aircraft, and we'll be using this aircraft for demonstrations, which will be taking many of you up for flights because I can stand up here all day and present and provide you all the cool things that it's going to do, but what's going to really prove it is put you in an aircraft and fly it. So we're making exceptional progress on the GoGo -Go Galileo system. And in less than two years, we have developed the first version of this, and the second one is in develop, the HDX. Uh, and this product is now real. This product is now, we have our first uh, system in-house in Broomfield at our headquarters. And that young man on the right, uh, he is holding the first, uh, first unit that is fully assembled, and we have installed it on our building, and we are communicating with our partners, uh, Satellite Network OneWeb, on that, and Hughes is our partner for the antenna, and this system is in full test right now, and this will be installed on that Challenger 300 in addition to the 5G system, uh, and you can see that here on our, uh, at our headquarters in Broomfield, Colorado. We also are in full transition of our existing air-to-ground network, which the uh, 4,000 aircraft that I spoke of earlier that we've installed with Avance, and then the legacy connectivity systems that we have uh, uh, gone out and marketed and installed together, the uh, classic air ATG, which is now cumulative over 7,000. This network is transitioning from a cellular technology known as EVDO over to the latest LTE technology that is underway. Uh, and that will be complete at the end of 2025. And guess what? That is very opportunistic for every partner that installs connectivity solutions. Uh, we still have thousands of aircraft that need to be upgraded from the classic air to ground. And if you don't install it, I guarantee you your competitor will be doing it. So the opportunity exists today to upgrade those classic air to ground networks because at the end of 2025, all those aircraft that are unconnected will not have internet on board. And we don't know in our industry how important more connectivity is. And that's where the opportunity exists in the business that you and I will, uh, we will do uh, together to upgrade those customers to the advanced platform. So the best of now, we have tremendous opportunities to continue to upgrade our classic air-to-ground systems or connect new customers with the Avance L5, L3, uh, as well as the 5G solution is coming at the end of the year and our global broadband system, which is next. So as I circle third base in my presentation, the one thing that I do want to point out is one of the things that we heard from our partners is that we needed more resources to support the efforts that you're doing in marketing, no matter what size the shop uh, that installs our product. So we've dedicated uh, marketing resources specifically to our partner network, and Jeff Gonring is solely responsible for working with our partners to uh, ensure they have all the tools they need to sell and market GoGo -Go hardware and GoGo -Go services. Jeff, if he did not have a mountain, mount, mountain biking accident this weekend, I would have invited him up, for those of you who do not know it, but he decided to, uh, to unfortunately roll his mountain bike on a mountain and got pretty beat up, even with his wing all, uh, all taped up and, and band-aids. He wanted to still come, but he was looking a little scary, so we decided not to bring him. Um, but Jeff is your direct point of resource. And then Lucy, who's also here for marketing, uh, she will be in the booth. And uh, we'd love to talk to you if we've not worked with you directly to 
uh, enhance your website, uh, equip your sales team, whatever it may be to provide uh, tools to, to do the marketing uh, even a more effective way on our products and services. So lastly, I'm going to invite up the aftermarket channel managers and our director of sales operations up to the stage. Number one, from a recognition standpoint, because they're the ones that are the boots on the street that work with you all. We have Russell Atochitz, we have Chad Ostertag, we have Brandy Roberts, uh, Annette Shine, and then the world famous Andy Fernandez. Or infamous. So as, as we talk about my role, and, and um, Ryan asked me to talk about the GoGo family. This, this is only part of the GoGo family that I'm honored to work with. I, I live to serve, to give them the tools to help do their jobs better, to help you do your jobs better, and all of us make uh, uh, stronger bottom lines to our revenue. But today, we were going to have t-shirt guns to shoot these t-shirts out, but there is a lovely glass chandelier right above this side, and Annette would have nailed it and showered glass on everybody on the stage. So I spoke about Dan Prosser earlier and, and how much of, uh, how funny he was. One of the things that Dan did is he stood on this stage over the years doing new product introductions, and there was always a, a sense of, of humor that every one of, his, every one of his presentations had. And my most, my all-time favorite, if for those that remember, was when he was with Avidyne, and he was talking about the uh, Avidyne Flight Max. And up on the screen popped up President George W. Bush and kept interrupting his presentation and kept doing Flight Max. Does anybody remember that? Yeah, that was one of my all-time favorites. So in the spirit of Dan Prosser, we thought we'd have a little fun and toss some t-shirts. Now I have one of these t-shirts here. And these we had specially made up uh, for the event, and it has GoGo on the front, and it has uh, a bit of an homage to keep them flying, keep them connected, that idea. Um, so these t-shirts, we're going to Try not to peg anybody over the head, but the team's going to throw them out, and then we'll get off stage, and new product introductions will, will begin. So, ready? Yep. Go for it. Okay. That means you have to pay attention. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the show. Have a good week. Thank you. Arrow News Network's coverage of the 67th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Grapevine, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors.